Hi, we're in Carlsbad Village in the north part of San Diego County here in California. We're going to enter the front porch gallery right here and talk to the executive director, Julie Weaverly. Hi, I'm Julie Weaverling. I'm director of Front Porch Gallery in Carlsbad, California. We're a nonprofit art gallery. We're actually an outreach program from a large not for profit called Front Porch. And we do a variety of exhibitions, including juried exhibitions, media specific exhibitions, working with artist groups, um, calls for artists, curating a variety of things. And right now we are having our opening today for our new exhibition called uh, OMA, which is Oceanside Museum of Art, Artist Alliance, and the show is called Renewal. So the idea is that spring is here, we're coming back after uh, the dreaded COVID, and um, it's kind of a wide expression of ideas about what renewal means to different people. So, uh, and th this piece here is uh, Adrian. So this piece right here is from Adrian Huff. It's called "When We Were Animals Nine. Obviously, a very uh, large and dynamic piece, and I just think it's absolutely spectacular. What made you pick this one as the winner? Yes. Um, well, I mean, I think it's kind of self-evident. It's so, it's so beautiful. I don't know. It's, it's just very impactful. It's very impactful. I, I like the way that it's painted. It's, um, it's very, it, it's, it feels very contemporary, but yet also classic. And I love the, I love the colors. I just, it's very dynamic. Um, and so what, what, what do, is it just the title of winning the Renewal uh, exhibition or is it? Oh, in this got? case, you know, they, we haven't announced it yet, but, but um, they will receive a certificate. We do another jury show in the summer where it's cash awards and um, yeah. Excellent. Um, how long have you been the executive director for this? Uh... So I'm in my 17th year here, and I've been the uh, director for five years. This one, yeah. And then how? Yeah. Hey. You're too funny. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's getting in the way. <laughs> so and then how long has the um, front porch uh, gallery been in? Um, that? Total about 20 years. Total yeah. 20 years? Mm -hmm. Always here in Carlsbad Village? It started off actually at one of the uh, front porch retirement communities in uh, La Jolla called Casa de Manana. And it was uh, not so much a public gallery then, but that after a couple years then it moved up here into this space and now it's a public gallery. Once a year we do exhibitions that have to do with our front porch residents. There are uh, 16 full retirement communities and about 30 affordable housing communities. And um, uh, I also do arts programming for the retirement communities where we do large collaborative projects and we, uh, we do some workshops and we do some artist speaker series. Um, so do the profits from this gallery go to support the, the what you said? Of, no, actually they support us. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're funded um, through Front Porch. Okay. And then, um, you know, we, we try to contribute as much as we can, but uh, we don't, you know, we, we need them. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm just going to look around and uh, yeah. meet some people. And Great. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. So I'm Kate Joyner, and um, I'm an artist in Carlsbad, and I like to paint different things um, that depict a little bit of history in Carlsbad, actually. So in particular, this is a painting that I painted last year during COVID, a little bit of the hyper colors that you see, um, but it is actually of a memory that, I call it in memory, but it's of a time that there actually are some horses in our town. Everybody thinks of us as a coastal town, but this land has been abandoned, and so I chose this picture of someone riding when they used to ride there, and um, it was an equestrian area, and now it's all gone, and so I painted many paintings of this area in a different way, but kind of depicting if, uh, maybe a memory of the past, or like some kind of like 
I, I like to use like these bright colors, and it's also questioning like the time. Like, is it in the past? Is it in the future? Is it now? Um, some of the colors um, are very, again, vibrant, and the shadows in particular really question what time of day it is. Um, the other thing about this painting is um, the, the horse isn't the focal point, but it kind of just puts you in the mood of, um, you know, maybe putting in the setting, you're kind of deciding if maybe um, are they coming home, you know, or what are they, how do they feel in the painting. So there's a lot of stuff going on in it. Um, I also chose to use a little bit of glitter along the um, outside. You can kind of see, and just as a contemporary uh, use of materials, because I think that um, the one thing as a painter, like when I do landscapes, I, I just want it to be known that it was painted now. You know, like it, it is from art era, you know, and I think that that's one of the things that I like to do. So. My name is Bob Coletti and I work here at the gallery, and this is my favorite piece of artwork in the show. The artist is Marie Chapin from Encinitas. What is it that you like about this piece? Well, I like contemporary pieces, and there's always a message in her work, and each person can choose their own message to go with it. Oh, just state your name. Uh, John Lenthurst. This is a, essentially a photo collage. So I create uh, uh, an initial layer just with uh, uh, on my Adobe. Uh, in this particular case, my backdrop on my tapestry is, a, is really a fish wrapper from uh, Fraser Farms. And uh, if you look at it closely, it talks about uh, the various fish and the catch of the day and so forth. And then the model is a composite of several. Um, they're just bits and pieces of you know, parts that I put together. And, uh, and then eventually when I get it all packaged up, um, I find the fish that I want and the dress that I want. And uh, I work on my faces. That's a combination of several faces. Um, then I print it out and I hand paint it. Uh, so I paint it with oils, and you can see uh, when you look at it a little closer, uh, some more detailing on it. And I have a whole series. It's called Women and Their Fish. And uh, oh yeah, it's over here too. Yeah, I have a second. Like I can absorb like a sponge without difficulty, but then. This one, uh, this one's called <laughs> Common Garden Pike, uh, which is kind of funny because, of course, you know, fish and your aloe garden are dissimilar. But uh, it's a lot of fun putting it together. Again, it's a composite of uh, multiple parts with the uh, subject. Um, I really uh, chased down her eyes. I had to locate those. I love how soulful they are. And, uh, and then again, it's uh, hand-painted. Um, this is not a complicated backdrop. The tapestry is just an aloe garden in Encinitas, uh, just off of Moonlight Beach. This again is part of my uh, Women and Fish series. There's uh, about 16 of them completed in the series. Uh, and I also have uh, quite a few of them uh, on exhibit at the Door Gallery and Carlsbad as well. All right, you guys, thanks for coming with me today. Make sure you stop by the Front Porch Gallery in Carlsbad, California. If you like this type of content, make sure you subscribe and like so that you can see more of my videos later.